the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Zach Calvis right here, Shark Attack. How you doing, Bare Knuckle News and Miss Susan Singard? All right, Zach, you had an amazing performance out there. Three knockdowns in the first round. We have to talk about this fight. What an amazing fight. It takes two, it takes two amazing warriors to create a fight like that. And I'm grateful for the outcome. Very grateful for the outcome. What about second round that was also I think you stopped him at 59 seconds in the second round what are your thoughts on your performance then my thoughts on my performance Miss Susan was to keep my foot on the gas tank I stayed calm I stayed present and that's my keys to victory staying calm and present if you had to break the fight down for us it was a quick fight talk to the fans if they were looking at video right now how would you describe your performance then I would describe my performance as Dominant. One word, my performance was dominant. I, um, I came in, I executed the game plan. I knocked him down three times in the first round. I think two times in the second round. Um, Michael Fernier is a really tough guy. And um, he kept making it off the canvas, showed the heart of a warrior. And I know that we'll see him back here at BKFC. Zach, who do you want next? Because there's, you fought a lot of good people. I'd like to see you fight Taurus, but that's just me. Miss Susan, it's interesting you say that. And with your fight IQ, I kind of knew where you were heading. Um, I'm really looking forward to a rematch with Juan Torres. Um, when you lose a fight and you're such a such a high quality fight, um, I think the fans want to see it again. I want to do it again. And um, out of respect, I really hope that Juan Torres will give me that opportunity to fight him again, not only once, but twice, so we can see the first trilogy in bare knuckle history. Um, it'll be just like Mickey Ward and Gotti, uh, Juan Torres, Zach Calvis. Out of respect, the fans deserve this. Jack, you know, we've known you a long time here at Bare Knuckle News, and we've seen your performances, and you get better and better each time. But how have you changed personally as a fighter since you started fighting for BKFC? Because I see a lot of a lot of interesting articles on you, especially in the Gloucester Times. <laughs> well, I continue to inspire my community. I continue to inspire my friends who are all here. I have 11, 12 friends here. Uh, they've been running around all month, getting my food, uh, helping me with my household, helping me with my dogs, my two pit bulls. And uh, my father does a great deal to help me out every single day of my life. So um, I have a great, great village around me. It takes a village to raise a warrior. So that's what you saw, a warrior. Before you go tonight, Zach, are there any friends, family, or sponsors you'd like to thank? Um, I want to thank Bare Knuckle News, Bare Knuckle News, for sure. Miss Susan, the best in the game, the whole Bare Knuckle News crew. I want to thank Mr. Feldman. I want to thank Nate Shook. And I want to dedicate this fight to my father, Jeffrey Calvis. Wow. All right, Zach, well, we can't wait to see you back in the squared circle. You know what's coming next. My community in Gloucester, Massachusetts. 01930, 01930. I take you everywhere I go. I do this for the island. I do it for Gloucester. Let's go. The Sharks coming home with a victory, baby. All day. All day. Let's All right, go. for Bear Knuckle News, I'm Susan Tagari, and this is... Zach, the Shark Attack Cowboys.